Could you find a stud with a simple fridge magnet? How would that even work? Now, there are a lot of videos on YouTube about using the super rare earth magnets to find studs. There are even magnetic stud finders based on that idea. I even actually have one and I think it works pretty well. But could you use one of these guys? Is there a secret stud finder sitting on that fridge? We're gonna find that out. Now, the way that these super magnets work or these magnetic stud finders work, and this is just a, this is basically just a plastic housing with super magnets in it, is they pull on the screws and nails that anchor and secure your drywall to the studs. So when you wave this over the wall, they're gonna attract right to those screws or nails, and you're gonna be able to feel the pull of it. They are actually, this one's so strong, it's just gonna hang on the wall. So you'll definitely know when you go over something metal. So the question is, is can we do that with a fridge magnet? Is there a secret stud finder hiding among them? Let's find out. To start my little experiment, I pulled the magnets off the fridge and put them on my kitchen island. After I had a pile, I started testing them to see which ones were weak and which ones were strong. So that way I could start with the strongest magnets for testing to see if they would actually work as a stud finder. Now during this test, I, uh, I figured out that anything that was bulky probably wasn't going to work. And anything that had a flat thin magnet, well those were really weak. So those probably wouldn't work either. So bye Montreal, bye Niagara Falls, and bye Grand Canyon. Nice places to visit, but sucky stud finders. And after all the testing, I narrowed it down to five contestants. Honey Bear, Teddy Bear, Wise Owl, Slow Turtle, and Hugs and Kisses. Think there's a winner? Feel free to place your bets in the comments below. Now the next step, I want to find a test area. So I use a stud finder to find a stud. And then I use a magnetic stud finder to find a drywall screw so I have something to try them on. Now that I found my drywall screw, I want to mark it off with some blue painter's tape so I know where it is. So I grab some painter's tape and I throw it over it. Now we're ready to test. So I grab Wise Old Owl and I throw him up on it and he does not see it. He is not wise enough to find a stud. Okay, let's try Cute Bear or Huggy Bear, what do I call him? Anyway, he doesn't work either. Nope, nothing. Oh well, let's try the next one. Let's try Slow Turtle. Now Slow Turtle, he sticks. So he might actually be able to find studs. So we'll put that one to the side and let's try Hugs and Kisses. Now Hugs and Kisses, now this one kind of bothered me. It kind of worked because you could feel it, but it definitely wouldn't stick to the wall. There was just too much bulk around it. So I tried it a few times and ultimately, I, I don't know, I, I probably could have worked if I took the magnet off its back, but my wife would kill me, so we're not going to. Now let's try Honey Bear. Now Honey Bear worked really well, stuck right away. And the convenient handle that he seems to come on, that was very helpful. Now I'm gonna try to find a drywall screw when I don't know where it is. And he sticks. So let's try another direction. And every 16 inches is about where they're gonna be, those stud screws. And he sticks again. So let's go up. Another 16 inches, yep, sticks again. So if you know the approximate screw spacing, it's actually not too hard to find the studs with this guy. This is pretty amazing. I'm actually shocked that it works this well. Now, he's not perfect because I did knock him off the wall a couple times, but overall, I, I can't complain. This actually was pretty good. Let's try the, the turtle to see if the turtle can do about the same. And uh, I try it and it works pretty good. It's not quite as easy to use. It doesn't have the convenient carrying handle. I think if you attach a string to it, it would work a lot better, but it's not bad. If you just hold it a little off the wall, you could feel where it pulls and then you just kind of let him see if he sits. If you're in a pinch and you need a stud finder and you don't feel like going to Home Depot to get one, you should give this a try. If you have a good, strong fridge magnet, it might work. So I would say give this a shot and see what happens. Let me know in the comments if this works for anybody else. I'd love to know. So if you want to try this at home, I have some tips for you. Now, finding the first fastener is going to be the hardest. So what you probably want to do is try 16 inches away from a corner. If you go 16 inches away from a corner, you're likely to find a stud. And it doesn't matter if it's an inside corner or an outside corner. So that's where I would start. Another place, if you're not having success with that, is a rounded outlet. Outlets are generally attached to the studs. 
Once you find the first drywall nail or screw, then you can go 16 inches horizontally or 16 inches vertically to find the next one. Now keep in mind, finding a stud with a fridge magnet is not super easy. Uh, you might want to consider investing in something a little more robust if you're going to be doing this often. Now you can, I have a review on an $8, a review and how to on an $8 stud finder. You might want to check that out and take a look at that if you're going to be doing this more often. Anyway, thanks for watching and take care.